different backgrounds and stuff and you know and different stories right. you know but I, I feel like you don't really see people like that come together um 
like we do. I mean, you know, we're trying to, you know, change that for everybody. So that's a fact. Pacey, keep the mic right there because I want to ask you a question because you said you are the creator and the founder of 845th Street. Um, what made you actually want to start this particular movement and bring different people in? Well, um, I started doing it uh, when I was down in Tallahassee, Florida. And, you know, I started doing it because, you know, I needed an uh, outlet for myself. So I figured I'd start, you know, recording and learning to mix and, and, and all that. And, uh, you know, I met up with a couple of guys down there who liked the same thing. You know, you know, we, we linked up, recorded, a, you know, a few tracks and stuff together. And just seeing what it do did for them, you know what I'm saying? Like, it helped them. It, it was a healing process for them. And that was the moment I fell in love with everything, you know. When you watch how people react to it. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. you know, just it, the, the, the whole process is just a healing process. And it's just... You know, there's so much to say that you don't really get to say or express in, in, you know, certain ways. So just seeing that, that's that's definitely why, you know, I started this and I'm still continuing with doing this. I mean, you know, the group I got is just a great, great group. Now, literally, legitimately, how long has this group been together? Uh, it's probably around like three years now. Three years? I mean, you know, some of us longer than others. Um but, I mean, everyone just kind of gravitated to it. Everyone that's on the team just gravitated to it because, you know, we just work very well together. Like, it, that just you know, mesh. It's just, it's just, process is just easier with, when we all realize that we have the same goal. And, and, right. And, and um, you know, just same, same love. stuff to right. get out. Like, right. you know, everyone got, you know, problems and stuff and da-da-da. You know, it's, it's just, this is just the movement for that, you know, get it out. Now, as you are meshing with people and you guys are coming together, here comes this young R&B singer by the name of Thickness. <laughs> so what did you particularly see in Thickness that made you say he has to be on 845th Street team? I mean, his, his, his drive, I mean, his, his willingness to learn, you know, more aspects than just artistry. Like, I mean, I, I could confidently say, like, his growth from when we started working is just multiplied. Like, I mean, this, you know, this guy knows how to keep at it and, and keep working until he get better and better and better. And it's, that's, that's all I expect from anyone on my team is just to keep laying it out on the line, you know, cause. And get better and grow yeah, it. Cause yeah. it's not, and to do something if you're not gonna grow from it and get better. Exactly. Shout out to you, Pervasi. First of all, a uh, big shout out to you, Pervasi, for becoming the leader and actually putting this together because that means something. And not only did you put it together, but it's working. And it's working very well, so salute to you. So then you come and you meet Thickness and now Thickness is on the team. Thickness! Yo, yo, what up, man? Thick. Thickness! First That's of all, up, we're not gonna talk about it, but we are gonna talk about it. Where's the name come from? Yeah, say? let's talk, let's, right. let's get to the all name. Right, bet, because actually I'm happy you brought this up, actually. All right, so basically, it started a long time ago, uh -huh. you know, um, uh, it was a joke. So I was, um, growing up, you know, I lived in a, I lived in a group home and stuff like that. Okay. And a staff member was calling me Nick Dick, Nick Quick and all this. And one day, like, I was I was wearing a shirt or something. So he was like, yo, Thickness. And I was like, what the fuck, who are you calling me that for? Right, like, right, wow. I'd be funny. Yeah, I was, and I was, and then like, yo, everybody started calling me that. And then like, you know, I was like, you know, over time, like, I went with it. And um, it really took off um, my ninth grade when I um, in when I played because I was a football player growing up, and I like I said I wore um, a shirt that had you no. Know, we did a little show and at the group home and everything that uh, had everybody's nickname on it. So and then I wore that to practice. It took off, yo. Every Lily, I'm not lying to you. Everybody didn't even know my real name. They started calling you yeah, thickness. Yeah, yeah. They was like, yo. So you know, I went with it, you know, and everything. So um, I moved. I even mo I moved from uh that school to a different school um and then so i stuck i kept the name going and everything because um by the way if you because i somebody was out i still was out somebody was like oh thickness oh. and that's like like come on man like end of the day you know see me yeah like, like come on <laughs> stop man. playing I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't like that like, come on, bro. Like, i tell people with time yo you don't feel comfortable man you can just call me nick bro that's end of the day that's my real name but you know it is what it is but uh 
I know what I am. You know, somebody, right. somebody try to say I was a little, you know. Sweet. Yeah, I was, not I, sweet about I had you. I just say pause, my man, because I got a girl. I got a, got a kid. Ain't nothing sweet about you. Yeah, like, you said, let's so clear that right yeah, now. Yeah, and on one time, um, I sent I sent um a song into like uh you know another like online thing. And yo, I watched the live for yo. They was they was they was flexing on my name. I'm not gonna hold you. I was like, I'm the type of person, man. I know I'm big, man. I don't care. Yo, you can say whatever you want to me, man, because I know who I am. End of the day, I still sing to you, girl. But that's who I got, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, <laughs> um, but like you know, and they, I mean, they thought the song was dope. That's all I cared about. Right, right. Most of my, I'm like, alright, man. I right, let it go, man. I right, like, right. They right. kept going on and on about it, but uh. I mean, you don't like, you don't I, plan to change your name anytime soon though. No man, I am who I am. If you don't like it, then uh, that's on you. In the day, that's I'm me. I'm not changing for nobody. I don't care. I'm not kissing nobody's behind. I am me. That's who I am. I know I who I am. It. My team knows who I am. And as simple as that, man. So in the day, I'm Thickness, aka Mr. No Lovey Dovey, and I will sing to your girl. I say that all the time. I don't care. This is who I am. Yeah, so now you you're very aggressive when you say that no lovey dovey. I sing to your girl. Of course. Man. So when you sing to the ladies and you when you feel like you open your mouth and you begin to sing to the ladies, what do you think begins to happen? At first, I'm like they probably like because I joke around a lot. I'm, right. I'm a very funny dude. I love joking around. So um, I'm, so I'll be like, I'm like y'all can sing. My brothers be joke. We used to go all the time. Like, yo, my brother can sing. She'd be like, no, you can't. And I'd be like, oh, baby, you. And then they'd be like, oh, my God. And I'm like, yo. And, and it's crazy because I'm like, like I said, a big man is supposed to get this much love. Like, and it's, right. Like, and that's what this whole process, man, has been so amazing. I just want to keep going because, like, I'm back to, um, you're probably going to answer this. Um, You know, what really I felt made me like, wow, like. I feel like the love was the August Alcina show. Yes. Like, yes. when I tell you, man, I was like, you know, I knew, you know, shout out to, you know, Jay Andre, he's doing this thing, respect that. I knew he would get the reaction he did. Right. Because, you know, but me, like, I, I wasn't I wasn't expecting that, man. And that was like, wow. Like, I played a video back. I'm like, yo, I can't believe that the love, even like we were outside, you know, I'm very like, I'm, I'm very a social person, man. You know, I love going out to meeting new people and I just... I was, I was singing, I just started singing, and like, yo, the whole crowd was like, yo. And, and let me attest to this because a lot of you guys, a lot of artists, you have to, you have to look from the back end where we, where if I'm the host, and usually I am the host at the chance, I can see the back end. So a lot of artists go up there and they perform, and you, you guys are in the motion, so you don't get yeah. to see the crowd's face. Mm -hmm. So I can actually attest to that because behind you, I was behind you, and I was watching the crowd. And the crowd was definitely involved with you. They yeah. definitely loved you to another level. It, it was, it was, it was, it was surprised. Like, I was surprised. I didn't, you know, I didn't think I was gonna get that that love, you know, and especially the love I got after. Yes. Like I, it was that that part was so amazing, man. And um, just, and it was some tea behind that too, because if rumor has it, if Muchi knows her her tea, like I be knowing tea, because I spill real tea. Weren't you one of the artists that shout out to DJ Maserati Styles that he reached out to you yes. and said that you can perform on his next event for yes. free? Yo, yes, yo, shout out to Maserati Ben, good dude. You I was know. right. Yeah, I yo, you, I, right. yo, yo, and and I'm not gonna lie, the other shows we did for him, you know, it was you know business. At the end of the day, he had to do what he had to do. But right, like that, hearing that, especially from like somebody like him, you know, somebody that's the, that does this and that. That was like wow, yo, like, and I, I, I was so like to this day, man. I'm still like, well, I want to do another show right now. You ready? I'm like, yo, my, I'm like. Now, how long have you been an artist? I all right. So I've been seriously, I've been an artist for about two years now. Two years. Yeah, I've been singing my whole life. Now, you said the August Alcina. Mm -hmm. So it took you over two years to finally get that love and respect in music. Oh, I'm not there yet. I'm I'm close, but I'm we're not there yet. We got a long way to go, and I'm being realistic with you. That was just the beginning. We have a lot more to go. Um, like I said, I tell people all the time, I'm not satisfied till I'm making millions of dollars till my music's paying my bills. Absolutely. So in the day, you know, I'm still here. I'm still going to work every day. I didn't, you know, that's that's the really I'm I'm very real about. I tell people all the time, man. Yo, like that all that cocky stuff, man. You could do that in the day. Don't don't. Don't bash somebody else because 
they, you know, they still trying to do, trying to, just because they, like, it happens, it's levels. levels. Right, absolutely. Some people started to be, started to bottom, but it was, like, you go, like, the Uncle Murder Show. Yes. We went on, you know, I was my first time ever legit performing something that I ever did. I'm not gonna lie, I could tell, wasn't really into it. Right. PB right. Rock, it was slowly, when we opened up for PB, it was slowly, but, like, when we went to the August, it was even, big, Br- even right. Brig, man, um, it was more, the love was, you know, even when we walked in the door, people was like, yo, what's up, 845th, blah, blah, blah. And I was telling, um, who was I telling? I was telling uh, Pavazin, like, other, I was like, yo, like, the love, like, you know, even, um, also, too, like, um, yo, shout out DJ Duya, man, we're we gonna be there, um, rising, rising, um. The showcase, yeah. yes. So, um, no, the mixtape party, we'll oh, be the there this week. Party. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got a, we got a few tracks on there. Um. Yo, even he, yo, he was in a balcony. He came down and said what up to us. Like, yo, even like something like that. Like, because I remember, um, you know, great dude, man. When he, we went to his stew and everything. Like, yo, I said shout out to him. Yo, he's been really like a, a big supporter of ours, man. Right. And that's what's up. Like, he, like, we, we, like, we went to stew, checked the stew out and everything. And yo, we was in there just talking. Right. Just like, vibing. Vibing. And it was such, yo, such a great dude. I didn't, at first, I'm not going to lie. I was like, because when I went to a couple events, he was like, Sometimes you tell people really don't care, you know. You just there, talk to you them. know, and um, you get that vibe. And like you know, as I got to know, like, I got to know him. Like great dude, great dude, man. Not gonna lie. And and um, you know, like I said Maserati too. Like that's a fact. Great dude. You know, and I, I can actually tell you guys something. That means something. I I can honestly say, shout out to DJ Maserati style. When I first started the radio station, yeah. he was like almost untouchable. He went and talked to me. Um, I would try to reach out to him at my radio station. He was very standoffish, nothing. And then. Now it's to a point that me and him talk to each other every day, all day yeah. long. So that just shows that you guys are working and people, we, you don't have to tell us that you're working. Yeah. Your work speaks for you. Said, we, we, the people, will see you work. You know, because people yeah. always say, I'm working, I'm working, I'm working, I'm grinding. You don't have to say that. Your work ethic speaks for itself. And you, the A45 Street is everywhere. Um, and I got to say something to you, Thickness. Um, I, and I want to say this publicly. I'm very proud of you. Um, Everybody knows Moochie pops up in all types of events. Sometimes I go live and sometimes I don't. Mm-hmm. I do that because I like to see what artist is, is where and what and who and why. Because you can't have a fan base if you're not supporting other people. Yep. Shout out to you for being at Drumline Studios listening um, Artist Mixer. Yeah, and it's crazy. I had to go to work. You were there o'clock. in your work clothes yep. repping for 845th Street. And I don't think that your team knows, but I'm going to say it so your team does know. Not only was he repping, when he got up there and he said on a mic, he did not let... 845th Street go unnoticed. He made sure that every other word was my team, my team, my team. He also made sure that the music that he played wasn't particularly pertained to him only, that he played his team's music that had a little bit of everybody. So your team needs to know that, that even the, even when you are out here, and I've been yeah, seeing yeah. you lately popping up at a little couple of these little quiet <laughs> events on in your work clothes, promoting 845th Street. So big shout out to you, love. Yeah. Respect. Yeah, yeah. Respect. And I respect you again as an artist because I see you at these events. That is very important, Thickness. You already have the step, the first step to being a successful artist. You understand supporting others. Yeah, and that's, and that's the one thing. I'm very, the good thing you brought that up, actually. I was getting frustrated at the beginning, you know. I was getting frustrated because, like, I'm like, yo, we putting all this work in, man. Yo, I was telling him, like, why don't we get the respect, man? Why don't, you know, I feel we're, we're better than everybody, you know. We, we work hard. We're always in the stew every single day. You know, we're, 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 we do everything ourselves, man. Like, why, 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 why? And then, like, you know, I had to sit back and then I had to really realize no matter what you do, you have to go out and earn that respect. That's right. And, you know, and I feel like we're not, we're, we're getting there. Absolutely. You know, and that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to sit here and tell everybody, yo, we do, we this, we that. We not, end of the day, we are still working. We are still working. So, no, 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 hand out. no. And no. I, I, and listen, everybody already knows 845th Street is one of my favorite teams. I swear to God, you guys just make hit after hit after hit after hit after hit after hit after thank hit you, after you. hit. So I, yeah, I know I've, I've always been a fan and will always be a fan of 845th Street just because the talent is surreal. That's real talent. Yep. Now, Pervasi, now you on, you have been producing a lot of tracks lately. You have been actually in yeah. overdrive. I've also been stalking your, your, your social media, and you've been in the stool okay. a lot, and you've been in the stool a lot in the middle of the night. Um, 
Yeah, you, I told you, I, I does this. I does my homework. So I guess my question to you is, what are you cooking? What's in your head right now for 841st Street? Because you've been a lo- a lo- doing a lot of alone time with these beats. So what is the vision? What do you foresee right now happening in the seventh month of a 12-month year for 2018 for your team? Well, I mean, uh, we've been really working on um, our next step in the World Collision Series. Uh-huh. Um, you know, it's an idea that I came up with. And it kind of goes along with what I was saying about 845th. Um, you know, about the unity and, mm-hmm. you know, worlds colliding, you know, world right. collision is different walks of life coming together. And, um, you know, this time around, this is the volume three. And uh, we got, you know, people like Wavy Wild Boy on it, Spartacus. Yes. Uh, unique, uh, Frenchie, uh, and the giant. Um, so, you know, we got a couple, you know, you know, surprises on there and stuff. And then, uh, you know, of course, the whole team is on there, too. Um and then along with that, you know, working on a Brigavelli EP, mm-hmm. uh, you know, we just crank, we just crank it. I mean, we're just building a catalog. Like my iTunes, it's got over a week's worth of music in it. Like if you were to play that straight, it would play for a week straight. That's how much music you have. Yeah. I like, I am in there every night. I've been in there every night for about three, almost four years now. I'm telling you. And we just, we're just working. I mean, it's, I, it's the only way to do it, in my eyes. Now, what is different about World Collision 3? Or what is your expectations for World Collision 3 versus 1 and 2? Well, as as my whole team gets better, I get better. Right. You know, we're all helping each other. Bro, we're all pushing each other, pushing and pushing. So uh, you're, you're going you're gonna to see a lot of better quality mm-hmm. Uh, be- better put together songs, uh, catchier songs. Um, you, we're just like we're working on every aspect, every of, aspect of, of, of the process, music. right? You know? Right. And um, our process got more creative uh, too. So we definitely got some surprises on there for you. Um, yeah, and uh, this time around, um, is all beats uh, produced by me, Lee Jones, Magic. Shout out um, to the producers you know, of the team. That's the producers of the team. And, uh, yeah, we just working, you know, heavily together, you know, to make stuff like that happen. Shout out, like I said, uh, shout out to 840 Fish. Shout out to you, Pervasi, because, like I said, I've been watching you. So I, I, when I see people doing, especially in the middle of the night, I'm always up in the middle of the night lurking. Why? Because I feel like that's where people get most creative. That's why I get my most creative time is when I'm by myself in the middle of the night. So I know you've been by yourself. I know I, you've been in the studio with other people, but I've seen you a lot by yourself just focus. So I know I said to myself, what is he cooking up? He got something in store. So shout out to you because your beats, and not for nothing, um, your beats is getting better. You got some real, you real, you got some real, you know, you you have single beats, beats that are single, the clap like those hit single beats that, oh, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Those hit makers, you definitely got those. Yeah, that's um, that's something that I've been striving for, you know, personally is just come with more, you know, commercial. Yes. But you know, easy to write to, you know, simplicity, but also something that hits hard, and um, you know that's. Commercial. I mean, that's that's been kind of my personal goal as a producer, and you know, whether it's mixing or, or beat making. Now, or, before we get back to thickness, I guess the next question that people might want to know is, Pervasi, do you just do beats for Eight Forty Fifth Street, or do you do beats for anybody and everybody? I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, I've been feeling a little lately. People is hesitant to work with us. Right. You don't have to be a part of our team to work with us. I mean. My whole crew, including me, you know, um, we want to work with anybody and everybody. You know, um, it's open season. We, we ready to work, like, <laughs> right? Right. So you know, don't don't be timid. You know, feel free to approach us, man. We, you know, we we get excited about outside projects and you know, outside artists and stuff like that. Like we're not, you know, <laughs> they're not bougie. Y'all ready? Yeah, y'all, like, y'all, y'all ready to network? Yeah, like, you know, there's so much talent around here. That's I mean, a fact. There's so much talent around here, and, you know, we see that, too. You know, it's not just, it's not just 840 uh, fit, you know, the be- you know the best of the, you uh-huh. know, we're not, we, no, we're not out here like that. We're not moving like that. You know, we, we're trying to help, 
each other and you know help other people as that's well, a fact because so. if i went if 845th we and i went and then everybody else followed through went because y'all already got 845 at the top in, in, in the name so we already opened the door shout out to 845th yeah. street producer pervasi now i heard you say pervasi thickness let's go because i heard you say you're working on bigger belly um ep now thickness yo yo what up what up what up so rumor has it because you know i'll be hearing things what's up Aren't you working on an EP? Yes. I right know. Now, I, mean, I am good. God, I'll be good. <laughs> the plan is um, either towards the end of the year, beginning of next year. Okay, so let's talk about it. Uh, All right. So basically, um, it's going to be called MNDL, which stands for Mr. No Lovey Dovey. Basically, I told you that's the. Turn out. Let's 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 go right there, Mr. No Lovey Dovey. What's up? You want to sing to the women. You want to make the women's panty drop. You want to make <laughs> us do all kind of things in our underwear. But then you say you're no lovey dovey. So how does that mesh? Explain that to me. Um, I say that because um two reasons why. Um, when I first started, I used to be like, to everybody like, oh, you got to make a love song. So I I always tried to my my vibe was always I try to bring a little. Little gangster to R and B. Okay, okay. And um, and also. But I can't picture you as a gangster. I'm not. I'm. I'm I just picture you as a lovey dovey dude. guy. I'm. Uh, trust me. I, you get. You get gritty. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I say, I'm missing no lovey dovey because I can't be giving these girls my heart like that, man. I'm just, you know, I'm just. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> You know, <laughs> you know Lady Thickness is. is watching. Easy killer. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. She gonna she gonna get me when she get home. So, so that's yeah, when you came with the up. no love. All right, so that's where the no lovey dovey comes yeah, in. Yeah, of course. I mean, um, but it's okay to be a you know because I feel like you are like the Trey songs of the eight four five. No, well, don't, don't give me that honor yet. But thank you, I appreciate it. Um, but honestly, I'm just. I'm like I don't know. I'm such a humble dude, man. I just I just love making music. I love um, entertaining people. Um, yeah, so and I love being a part of my team, man. Because end of the day, especially this dude right here, you know, he keeps us going. You know, even when I fall off, you know, there's a time like a month. Like I was, you know, I was going through a lot, man. right? You know, so I was not really distant, but like I was like trying to figure everything out, man. And um, you know, my, they they helped me out, supported me and everything, and right. um. You know, kept me on the same path, and you know, I could have. You know, I thought about maybe what, what if I step away, but then in the time, music's my life, man. Um, I've grown to love, and also too, people don't know. Like I'm very young; I'm only 22. Oh, so yeah. Okay. Um, and and I have a three year old. Okay. Love my daughter to death. Um, she bad. She bad though. Yeah, um, <laughs> don't worry, uh, garbage. But uh, what you call? It? But like, I tell people all the time, man. The reason why I keep going is because. I want because how my how everything turned out right now. I want my daughter to look up and like I w daddy wasn't afraid to chase his dream. Right. Even though like you know I have a you know I have I work every day. I still pay bills, but I was still able to go out. Even you know I can at least say I was able to go out and chase my dream. Cause right. Like, you know, and a lot of people can't say that. That's you right. know, and I want her to be able to like I want her to take risks. You never and because at the end of the day you're either gonna fail, you're gonna succeed, but you have to learn when you fail, you gotta pick yourself back up. So, um, you know, that's the main thing I really, I, I, me, I like, I don't like saying things. I like showing it. Right. You know, that's the best way. I could tell you this and that and the third, but if I'm not going to do it, then what's the point of me telling exactly. you? Exactly. Wasting my time, your yeah, time, exactly. air time. So, um, you know, that's, that's my philosophy. I really, like I said, I love music. This is what I do. Um, you know, but I just want people to know that I'm a humble dude, man. I, I will work with, I will, I will work with anybody. I want to work with many artists. You know, outside the team because that would also too Hold that because I'm about to tell you when we get after the song. I want to know who y'all would like to work with outside of your team. Okay, bet. so we definitely gonna talk about that. All right, because I want to see if y'all know y'all local artists. That's why I asked that question because a lot of these people don't even know who their fellow local artists are. Oh, oh, trust me, trust me. We, I'll be seeing. You be knowing. And you know, and shout out to them, man. Yo, if you doing your thing. You know, trust me, you don't get no hate over here, man. I'm not, if you're doing your thing, you about to make it mesh, you know, that's what's up, man. I, I can't hate on somebody that's successful, you know, I really can't. So, that's a fact. You know. So let's get into this song that we're going to premiere tonight, because Thickness came and brought us something new. Um, nice. You already know we play Mamacita uh, Tropicana on the show, but he got something new. Yes. Um, so what's the name of this song? This song is called What You Need. It's produced by this man right next to me. Um, I also have a music video out to it. Um, it's on YouTube on our um, 845th Street Entertainment channel. Uh -huh. um, yeah, it's dope. Um, this is one of my, uh, one of my first, it's my first single. 
That's your first single. I have many. Now I have many, but like you know, but but at that time, this was my first single. So it's pretty much like my baby, pretty much. Okay. So this is the first time, like he showed me the beat. I was like, all right, bet. I wrote to it, and then you know it was. It took you know it took a while for it to be where it is, but like I'm proud of myself then especially like i'm te- i feel my i'm way better now like i'm such a i write all the time that's what's up i write all the time and i i'm telling him like i don't even write like when i write it's not even tickling to me like let's say you're going through something and we're talking about it i might take that topic and, and start write writing about it right. because you know that's what artists do you can't you know because if i talk about me all the time it's not real but like if it's other when you talk about other people because like you could re- people can relate more because people go out and um mm-hmm. You know, oh, wow, I've been through that. Like, That's right. Like, the song I'm writing right now, I'll tell you guys a song I'm writing right now. It's called You. It's basically about um, this gr- um, uh, this dude. He likes his girl. Um, she ends up falling in love with someone else. But um, she he knows that she's a good man, that he's a good guy for her. But he's still questioning, like, why me? Like, And she always, I need a man, this and that. But he was like, I'm right here. Why didn't you ever give me a chance? Ooh, so, yeah. I like that. So, um that's i'm writing i'm almost done with that actually so i write a long time but yeah so what you need music video 845th street entertainment youtube channel also to make sure you check it out on the website 845th street ent.com so here we go all right you guys so i'm about to uh premiere this song shout out to the producer on the beat that is pervasive this is brought to you by thickness what you need let's give them some feedback tell them how you feel let's go thickness Young nigga, huh? So girl. Shout out to you, precious platinum diva. I see you all the way from VA to New York to the 845. Uh, see them cars that you driving. See them clothes that you rocking. See them shoes that you copping. Now it's all me, girl. I could treat you like a queen, baby. That's what we mean, baby. I can give you what you need. too like you know that's that took a lot of work so but like i said it's my first track i'm so much better at doing that high pitch voice it's you crazy. know what i want um uh, okay i gotta read the comments shout out to platinum d first of all she said nice beat then she said this makes you want to ride with the windows down cruising down the highway thank you with your hair blowing in the weave in the thank wind you, thank you see the shout out to y'all giving feedback that's what we want to know we want to know how y'all feel about this music would you buy somebody said very smooth no, Very, that's the point. I wanted to make a smooth track. Real smooth. And I'm going to tell you another thing about this song. My mom can listen to it. My grandmother can listen to it. My aunts and uncles can listen to it. My age and younger. That's a, that's a very important thing about music, too. Yep. Used for everybody. And shout out to y'all. Um, what you need. How you feel about it. To be honest with you? Be honest. 
I have better songs now. I'm just being honest. <laughs> How are you gonna say? <laughs> I, cause but, mama like, said. <laughs> like I said, it's my baby because it's the first single I ever did. Um, but I'm, I'm, I, I, you know. You are, you are. Let me say this to you: for you to be so young, you are exactly where you need to be, right here when it comes to this music industry. You'd be surprised how many grown people, older people, that I've sat with on this show that are not even where you are musically. And it's him. It's, yo, yo, like, people oh, don't understand. It's for Basie. People don't, yo, I would never thought, like, pe all right, I'm going to give you advice right now. If you are an artist, make sure you register your music. If you do not register your, I had this conversation with somebody the other day. If you do not register your music and you blow up, you, it's, it's a problem. Because you have to fit, there's so much to it. And, um, yes. Glad you brought this up. Because there's so much <laughs> to I it do. than being an artist, man. You can make, I tell people, you can make music all you want, but there's so much business behind it. Because you have, because um, cause the difference is like, you could be an artist, but like you have to, you have to credit out the producer. Yes. If you don't write this, if you don't write yes. the song, Talk you have them. to um, credit the songwriter. Um, Teach you have to so much stuff, and then you have to do it royalties. And like I say, if you release a beat, then you have you have to worry about how many times you perform it, how many streams you got, or Talk you have to, to pay that person. It's like it's so much more than just making music. I like I'm so happy I learned that because I didn't know that, you know, Thank and you. now I do. You know, and you're 22. I'm 22 years now old. Now you meet yes. so many prides. How many people come on my show that's 30 or 40 that say they've been doing music for 10 or 15 years? And, the, you know, they're working. They're in the studio every day. Their music is just on SoundCloud. I can't go to Spotify. I can't go to Apple iTunes. I can't yep, go to yep. Spirilla. I can't download you. Matter of fact, I'll take it even further. I can't even go on Google search and find you as an artist because the not for nothing, your name is not even registered. Your, your name is not even a legit artist registered. Oh, people don't now. even know that. You understand what I'm it saying? So people just want, I make music and they don't understand the business. At even, forget the music, your name. Your name. Yeah. Yep. You know, so shout out to you. First of all, Pervasi, I gotta say this. This is the second time I've had this on my show. I've been doing this for three years. Pervasi and Tito Montana, you guys must be doing something extremely um, excellent in your community and in your group. This is the second person in three years that the team has came up here and gave so much adam admiration for their own people. Um, shout out to uh, Final Score Entertainment. They came and they had so much high praises to say about Tito Montana. A four A forty fifth Street has so many praises to say about you. So you, as a person, as a man, as a leader, you should be proud of the work that you're doing. Because you are uh, you are creating leaders and business minded people, so be proud of what you're doing. Even if God forbid, even if you don't go anywhere for Basie, you've already done enough because you're getting them to where they need to be. So shout out to you. You want to talk to you? say something? You want to reply to me? Talk to me. <laughs> I just nod. <laughs> no. <laughs> Facts though. Yeah, no, I I, I I agree. I mean, just like I said, you know, seeing them grow is exactly what I do this for. You know what you know? I'm saying? Because a lot of people, they'll say, they'll give Jay-Z and Barack and everybody else their praises. They even get to praise their own. And that, that's what's up. It, it, it's all love. It really is all love all the way around. Um, Shout but, out to Wavy Wild Boy on the check-in. Yeah. World Collision 3, he's on Wait. it. <laughs> we got some work to do, man. <laughs> now, but basically, since you got the mic, ha, ha, ha. In the 845, you've been around. You see him out here. Give me two artists that you really, really, really want to work with, or at least give them a beat outside your team? I say, um, I say Jig Nice. Mm -hmm. um, I like to work with uh, D Weathers. Yes, yes. I, I, their team, uh, they got a good team. <laughs> That's they, a fact. they do. I, I, I do respect everything, you know, that they're doing and stuff. I, I, I do see all them, but... You know, D Weather definitely want to work with y'all and Jay. Um, okay, you know, I, I I get a chance to, you know, really work with uh, Wavy and Spartacus yet. You know, we actually we did a track, but you know, I want to do more. You want to do more with them? I want to do way more with them. Their talent, their, their, their energy is crazy. They're, they're fun. And we like energy. Yes, yes. We like energy. We like working with people that's working as hard as us, if not harder. You know, that's ain't no that's sense to waste of time. We ain't gonna waste oh, time. Oh, before I forget though, too, say it. Uh, back to the World Collision thing real quick. 
I just want to say that will be up on Apple Music, Tidal, <laughs> all, right. all that. Series X, all, all that. All that. Pandora. I want to see it on Pandora, all yeah, of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to, you know, that way when it drops, you know where to go look for it, which is everywhere. So Let me also shout out 843th Street because I want to shout out one of your members, Conflicted. Um, <laughs> so I was playing around with 845th Street one day and Conflicted wrote me... Um, some bars and i actually got i got to get on the track with you guys yeah. now the crazy thing is i gotta say this live is funny because i was in the studio with you guys and he heard the beat and conflict is like oh my god Mucci, i like your voice i just want to get you in a song i'm gonna write something so did you guys know that that particular song got me so much backlash so other female artists thought that I wrote the song against them. <laughs> so they actually thought, you know, that I was a rapper and I went in this thing and I was taking shots at people. And yes. I was saying to myself, you Conflict and wrote that in three minutes without even <laughs> saying anything. So I was like, you know, I'm going to get back in the studio. You know, you know, you're doing you know what I'm saying? Right? I might have to be a threat in the industry. Yeah. So I might have to go to Pervasive. You might have to be a ghostwriter for me because I might have to kill the industry. I'm telling you. I'm a, and listen, when we write my first song, it's going to be called Ghostwriter. I'm killing the industry with a ghost rider. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Well, she ain't do too bad either. I, you see, I was flowing, you know? I was holding oh, my own. <laughs> Shout out to Pervasi. And Thick Thickness. Yo, yo, what up, Thick. man? If you had to pick two people in the 845 outside of your team to work with that you see working right now, putting in that work, who would it be? Um, One would definitely be uh, with D. Weathers. D. Weathers? Yes. His flow is nice. Okay. I'd give it to him. Um, and also, to, I definitely, um, because I think we would finesse, I mean, kill this track. I would love to work with J. Andre. Yeah? Yeah. I think we would. I think so. That's, that's, that's I can see I, that. I can I see that. We would good. freaking, I mean, take this R&B thing to all another level. I think so. I can agree with that. For real. Yeah. Any females outside the 845, outside of your group that you want to work with? We've been working. Um, yeah, give me some females. I know Frenchie. Yeah, yeah, we we been working with Frenchie. Um, there's, uh, there's, a, there's a girl we just linked up with the other day, Jenica. Uh, I, I forget her last name. I just met her today though. Leak leak scheduled that session. Uh huh. But um, you know that that's another one that you know I'm, I'm ready to work with too. I, you know I like her voice. Uh huh. You know, I think I think we could make some good stuff. But uh, anyone else? I mean. You got you to gotta enlighten me on who else is doing this female-wise, Chris. Uh, I, I got one. Uh, ain't going to get me lying. You know who I'd love to work with? Who? She's fire. Who? Jasmine Lopez. Absolutely. She is Absolutely. Now, it, listen, she, shout out to Jasmine Lopez. Wow. Is I, she is, I know she was a singer. Is she still singing or is she just completely doing songwriting now? I don't know, but man. She's wow. amazing. I heard, Absolutely. I heard a song at... Um, that Drawzilla event, and, I was, and I'm like, yo, this... Yeah, wow. she's a beast. The, f the flow, her flow change was nasty. The, man, the, the, the oh, man, I was like, wow, this, she's dope, for real. I guess she is, for I real. have to agree with you hands but down. great. And it's not, and I, I will tell you another person I want to throw out there, I want you guys to look her up too, when you guys get a minute and work with Amber Love. Amber Love? Yes. Is she on your show? No, she's not yet. No, that's Amber Dominique. That's the um, bottle girl. Shout out to Amber Dominique on Willie Podcast. No, she Amber. Amber Love? Amber Love. Yo, Amber Love. Check me out on Instagram, thickness underscore 845. She's right in Poughkeepsie. Let's do it, man. I can Studios see y'all doing Highland. something. Let's get it. Yes, I can see something. Uh, you said R&B girl on my show. So far, I only had one female. Gabby Joy, I think, was the only female R&B singer. Oh, and Jillian Hobbs. Those are the two. Jillian was from Putnam County. Um, Gabby's yeah. from Middleton. Yeah, you got to send me like, their contact. And stuff. Absolutely. You did, listen, you name them, I um, send them. I see a while back... Um, it was a girl who was rapping out here. Uh, dark skin? I have Royal T. Light, now, listen, have you got light, the, light skin? I got Royal T. Straight out of Rockland County, one of the baddest MCs. We got Dolly Star. I mean, we what, what you female wise? We got them. They're a little you got, scarce. You, you just gotta put me on. I'm, a, I'm gonna start. I, I, I like to know who's doing who's doing here. what, and you know, know I know who's serious. So you, you know, know I know. Definitely tell me someone's serious though. Uh, you know I know. I ain't gonna say you. Know. I, you know I ain't gonna say you nobody ain't working. 
A lot of shouts out to us, but shout out to Mochi for real. Because <laughs> I be lurking. Shout out to Mochi. I be lurking. She knows. You know why? Knows, she knows. Because I don't be. I don't like wasting time. You understand what I'm saying? And, and being in presence of people like you, seeing 841st Street, the Final Score Entertainment, Shop Partisan Fontaine. A lot of these teams out here really you know. jig nice. They yeah, out here really know. working. Yeah, yeah. And I don't want the 84. I don't want people to misconstrue real work from um, fictitious work. Just because you're in the studio every night doesn't mean you're working. Just because uh, you make a hundred tracks and you have a whole sound cloud doesn't mean you're working. Working is being a registered artist, being a, an efficient artist, being a supportive artist, being an artist that doesn't just work in a studio. You're working to go to other people's events. You're supporting where you, even if your name is not on a ballot, you're not trying to go to every event free. You're supporting that next artist by paying that $10. That's real work. And people mix that up. So yeah. I like to remind them. Yeah, you couldn't have said that better. You understand what I'm trying to say? Those are the people that we really want to work, work with. with. You know what I'm saying? The that's ones that's going to pay $10 to come to your event, you're going to pay $10 to come to your that's event. They're going to buy a beat from you. They're going to pay studio time. Those are the artists that I consider working because they're investing. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Real simple. They'll get with me, though. If not, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm still the yeah. face and the voice. It doesn't matter. Shout out to the 845th Street. I love this team. Pervasive Thickness, I love you guys. I love the whole team. I love your movement. Um, Pavesi, shout out to you for creating it. Shout out to finding someone like Thickness. Thickness is amazing. I, I say this. I give certain people titles because I already see it. I already said Frank Benz is the Drake of the 845. I already feel like Thickness, you are the Trace songs of the 845. Why I say that? Because you have so much. You're so young. So you have so much growing. You're going to surpass him at a time you don't even know. Well, also, two people call me the big part of R&B. So. I don't know about that. I'm telling you all. Why you gotta be big pun? Why you can't be Trey? Why they wanna give the big on top because of everything? Because I'm representing a big movement right now, and big dudes is winning, man. Gosh, man. You know, that's time, why. Time out, hold represent it. Right who, told, who told y'all y'all winning? Me, I told y'all. <laughs> Me. Wakanda told you they win. Yo, man, yo, as long as you got game, you dress good, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. As, I got, as I got older, I realized, you know, most of the time. Women don't usually care about all that, but you know, that's this is me. You know? Let me ask you know, we're we gonna get out of here, but y'all know I, when I ask questions, I gotta ask thickness. I gotta ask you this because yeah. being a little bit bigger, yeah, you know, um, how do you style yourself to properly be in like the you know, because styling for big people is everything, so yeah, you know, you know, what I'm saying so, how do you go about styling yourself and what how do you pick what's really good for this particular video to look good on you and compliment you to the video? Also, the main thing is I don't stay away from being me. Right. Um, and also, too, I dress like a New Yorker, man. That's true. <laughs> you know, I'm always wearing a hat. You know, I usually got, a, I usually got more chains than this. Um, my biggest, I love wearing boots. I don't even like wearing sneakers. I like wearing boots. I'm a Tim's man. I wear Tim's all the time. And when, So you want to know people with shorts on and Tim's? I was about that's, to say. That's, that's I was about to say. You, no, you no, confused no, no. about the weather? Like you don't know it's a whole heat wave. <laughs> you walking right here with full blown winter um, boots on, right? Come on. Honestly, oh, yeah, honestly, to, as like um, I tell, only in New York. I tell people all the time, man. Like as a big, you can't be wearing. You gotta fit right. You know, you can't be wearing. I can't be in here wearing my I, son's clothes. Yeah, like I, I hate when be like, yo, you you can't be doing that, man. Right, right. Like, like how dudes be like wearing like me also too. I can't be having my like my. Pants all tight up here. Right, right. Like you need to roll. down. Like, uh, you look dumb, man. Like, you know, you look dumb, dude. Just wear some pants that, yo, you can find some good fire clothes. You just got to find it, man. I'm telling you. I'm not going to be wearing, yo, you don't see me wearing tight shirts. I mean, it's not really tight, but I'm just saying. You don't, we don't so, see you wearing Gucci clothes? No, man. What? What? Oh, my, I'm, yo. Yo, I'm telling you, man. Like I said, <laughs> yo. Yo, my advice, man, if you're a big dude, man, get you some fly clothes, get you some game. You know, don't be afraid to talk to the pretty girls, man. And sing you never to know. them. Well, you, they can't sing like me, so. With that being said, before we get up out of here, <laughs> do me a favor, Thickness, and hit us with an acapella. Let us hear the vocal, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, of course. Wait, look, uh, shout out to Wavy Boy. He said, Pavese stays fly. I'm telling you, Pavese is black. My man, With white skin. Yo, he got the church shoes on. That's a, listen, you guys, zoom in. Zoom in because my guy came shoes. with the casual outfit and the church shoes. He didn't know if he was going to pray. What <laughs> he was going to do. He didn't know. Oh, I'm here with Pavese, though. He came with the New York hat and the church shoes. He didn't know if he was going to the club or the church and he was going to Bible study or work. I, listen, and the guy with paint on his hands, he's a multitasking man. Shout out to Pavese. Are uh, you ready? <laughs> You ready, Big Man? Yep. All right, hit me with some tunes. 
Never seen a girl like her before. Pretty cute face with a nice smile. Trying not to stare, but it's so hard just not to notice you there. I'm really not used to this, mean a man up. Just say alone, and it's not gonna lie. Feeling kinda shy. Well, no, she don't feel the way I do. And I'm stuck here looking like a fool for you. Wow. Yeah. Woo! Oh my god, I gotta go to the bathroom, ladies. Stupid. I don't know what She's just stupid. happened. In my, I don't know what just happened, ladies, but I gotta go to the bathroom. She's Shout stupid. out to Thick Dick. Somebody said, stop hiding that. Okay, I got you, Liz. Liz she Benjamin, said, who is that? What she oh, said? That's your auntie? What she said? Liz Benjamin says she needs you to sing another song. She needs you to stand up and she needs you to stop covering your face because they want to see this no lovey-dovey stuff. So let's start again. He's going to get in the camera. That. Sing anything you want. Just start. Sing. I don't care if you sing Mario. Just sing to me. Because the way I'm feeling about Maybe you just don't get it. <laughs> Do you enjoy being hurt? I know you smell the perfume, the makeup on his shirt. You don't believe his stories. You know that they're all lies, bad as you will, and stick around, and I just don't know why. If I was your man, baby, you never worry about what I do. I'd be coming home back to you every night, doing you right. Oh, oh, oh yeah. See, baby girl, I just don't understand why we went wrong. Shady, I just want you all to myself, yeah. And this is off the top of my head, yeah. So, baby girl, what you want, though? What you want, baby girl? I just want to say that you're my all. And oh, 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 oh yeah. Whoop. I'm going to No lovey dovey sh yeah. 845th, check me out on Instagram. Dignus underscore 845th. What it do? Son, it's pretty mama. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm out. I messed up on the camera. I didn't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. Oh, 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 To thickness. Now that's a real, now listen, that's real singing right there. And I don't want y'all listen. I don't, I don't want y'all get that misconstrued. It. That's real singing. That's that singing that they they don't do now. This is 2018. All that auto tuning and all that all that. That's what they do now. We 845 is where you come with the authentic talent. In the 845 region is where you come with original talent. Stop sleeping. I'm just trying to tell you. I gotta get like me and get involved with these 845 artists. Get in tune with 845th Street. Show them love, support them, follow them. They're doing great things. I'm telling you, this is a movement to be reckoned with. Shout out to the producer. Um, and I want to see you guys get with Pervasi because the 845 Award Show is around the corner. We want to see Pervasi um, and the 845th Street, per, any producer from the 840th Street on that um, the producer of the year. I want to see 845th Street nominated for that Best Group Award. I want to see them on the ballot. So I want you guys to get in tune with them, show love, um, scout them out, see what they're about because I want you to vote the men for the 845 Award Show because they've been working hard. I believe in my heart they deserve it. Shout out to you, Pervasi. Much, much love and respect to you, Thickness. I'm proud of you. I'm, I'm older than you. Pervasi's older than you, so I can honestly say we're, we're proud of you um, and what you're doing. You look grown and, man. Um, you, we, huh? I have still a grown man. You ain't no grown man. You still <laughs> wet behind the ears. I got breast milk for you, young man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but before we got it here, Pavesi, you do first and then thickness. Give them your tags, your plugs. Tell them where to find you and anything else you need the people to know about 845th. Pavesi, let's get it. Well, I mean, you can check check out the whole movement, 845th Street, ENT.com. Um, I mean, we on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that. Uh you can find me personally, uh, my last name, Pavese21. That's P-A-V-E-S-E 21. 
and that's across everything. Uh huh. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mushi, thank you, man. No problem. Hey, what's up, everybody? Before we go, I'm just gonna give you guys my social media now. Absolutely. You ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, you guys can find me on Instagram, thickness underscore 845th. You can also, too, make sure you guys check out, again, the website, 845th Street, dot com. Also, too, if you guys want to check out the Facebook page, check out 845th Street Entertainment Facebook page. Give us a like if you want to work inboxes. Also, too, if you want to work, you know, check out my inbox, thickness, 845th Street. Man, we making a movement right now. Let's do it. Shout out to 845th Street and the whole movement. You already know this is your girl, Moochie. <clears throat> Shout out to the hottest online radio station. The one radio station that spotlights our own talent, our own stars. These are our stars right here at the beginning. So shout out. Make sure, again, you follow 845th Street, Thickness, Pavese, and the whole entire movement. Make sure you show them love. Um, if I'm not mistaken, shout out to Breaker Valley. She will be performing this Saturday um, at the Indie Artist um, event. So make sure you guys come out, hear her. Shout out to Jasmine Parker. Um, this Friday, you can find me alongside Erica Jean. Shout out to Styles Inc. at Club Escape. Ladies, is free. Fellas, come in. It's a black and white affair. Everybody that's anybody that knows anybody should be in the building. When I tell you it gets crazy in Escape, it gets crazy. Last week, I walked out with $50. Shout out to the ballers. Shout out to the ballers. And I didn't have to twerk nothing. I walked out with $50. But it goes down in Escape. So if you're not doing nothing on this Friday. Meet us at Club Escape. This Saturday, meet me in um, Poughkeepsie at the Indie um, Artist event. And don't forget the 845 Awards show will be uh, coming around soon. Uh, voting will start in August. Uh, we got a best male artist, all genres, female artists, all genres, producer of the year, and much, much more this year. Um, 2019 will be bigger and better. When I tell you I'm not playing, I took a year off. For this reason, so I can scout how a war show goes. So if you thought the first one was a bit, uh, was the best, wait till you see this next one. 2019, we're on our way. Now, I don't know if I have a guest tomorrow, but I miss you guys. I, I you know, I miss you guys too. Hey guys, I'm chilling. Man. I, I'm, I'm chilling. I gotta go home. I've been where I work all day, but I can stay here because y'all know I miss you guys. I don't be like up here like I used to be because I got a real job. Unfortunately, yeah, I had to go back to the workforce. But I'm back out here. Run. And listen, what, you watch out for me because I'm going to have to talk to Pabasi. He might make me an artist. Look out for my new single, Ghost Rider. Killing the streets with a ghost rider. I love you guys. Have it. a safe night. Yeah. Listen, get home, get safety. And the words of N-City Smack Man, show love because hate will get you absolutely nowhere. Good night.